Could fasting help build muscle and unleash anti-aging properties via the release of human growth hormone? The physiology of fasting is fascinating. The power of fasting lies not in the mere reduction of calories, but the beneficial hormonal changes. One of the main benefits comes from reducing insulin, but there are also increases in noradrenaline, cortisol, and growth hormone. Collectively, these are known as the counter-regulatory hormones, since they all serve to increase blood glucose at a time that the body is not getting glucose from food. Here we focus on human growth hormone known as HGH. Hello there, this is Fit Nation Plus. Fit Nation Plus is a house of fitness professionals. Let's see, what is HGH? HGH is a hormone made by the pituitary gland, the master gland, which plays a huge role in the normal development of children and adolescents as the name implies. However, it also plays a role in adults. HGH deficiency in adults leads to higher levels of body fat, lower lean body mass, sarcopenia, and decreased bone mass, osteopenia. As you might expect, normal levels of HGH peak in puberty and gradually decrease thereafter. The growth hormone is typically secreted during sleep and is one of the so-called counter-regulatory hormones. HGH along with cortisol and adrenaline increases blood glucose by breaking down glycogen. So it counters the effect of insulin, hence the name counter-regulatory hormone. These hormones are typically secreted in a pulse just before waking 4 a.m. or so during the counter-regulatory surge. This is normal and is meant to get the body ready for the upcoming day by pushing some glucose out of storage and into the blood where it is available for energy. When people say that you must eat breakfast to have the energy for the day, they are simply wrong. Your body has already given you a big shot of the good stuff and fueled you up for the day ahead. You don't need to eat sugary cereals and toast with jam to have energy. This is also the reason why hunger frequently is the lowest first thing in the morning even though you have not eaten for more than 8 hours. HGH has various health benefits such as Increase exercise capacity Improve bone density Build muscle mass Reduce body fat As HGH has great benefits to our body we humans are finding different ways to increase it in our body. We have made it artificially in labs that are available as a prescribed drug for those who have muscle degenerative diseases. Athletes use HGH as performance enhancers. There are still a lot of studies going on HGH to boost it naturally. One of the best methods to increase growth hormone is fasting. In 1982, Kernt et al. published a study of a single patient who decided to undergo a 40-day fast for religious purposes. Glucose goes down. From 96 initially, it drops to 56. Insulin goes way, way down. Starting at 13.5, it quickly drops to 2.91 and stays down. That is almost an 80% drop. If you are concerned about a disease such as type 2 diabetes, with hyperinsulinemia, fasting is an effective way to bring down those sky-high insulin levels. But our concern here is HGH. It starts at 0.73 and peaks at 9.86. That is a 1,250% increase in growth hormone. A shorter 5-day fast gives a 300% increase. All these HGH increases without drugs. However, continuous fasting is not sustainable in the long term. Intermittent fasting is a more popular dietary approach that limits eating to brief periods. Multiple methods of intermittent fasting are available. One common approach is a daily 8-hour eating window with a 16-hour fast. Intermittent fasting can help optimize HGH levels in two main ways. First, it can help you drop body fat, which directly affects HGH production. Second, it'll keep your insulin levels low for most of the day, as insulin is released when you eat. Research suggests that insulin spikes can disrupt your natural growth hormone production. 
That's how you can boost your growth hormone with intermittent fasting. I have linked all studies in descriptions. Comment below. What is the main reason which drives you to follow intermittent fasting? Hope this helps you.